called me in Bustia. They were in my office. And we arrived at around 6 a.m. in the morning. So their mission, according to court order they had, was to search. To search allegations, to find out if the allegations of fraud that they had been reported to them are uh, true. So as a loyal Kenyan, I told them to search whatever they want. It's unusual because usually whenever there's a allegation of fraud, somebody summoned to the headquarters of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. That's what I've been seeing, the norm, or other governors, the members of parliament. So this very unusual whereby over 50 officers have been spread out as if something so major has happened. My wife would not run anywhere. We are almost welcoming. My children could not go to school today because it was very unusual having people with guns in your home. So for the first time in Kenya, over 50 police of, uh, detectives are sent to one governor. Why it's being, my homes are being raided compared to others who have been being told to go to integrity house. If there are cases of corruption, I'm always free. There's nothing you cannot know about me in Kenya. The CID know, the NSIS can know. If it's knowing the number of houses I have in Kenya, the NSIS have it. My chiefs know political opponents can be having a hand in it. But I will not say so because our duty might be at the deputy governor is to serve the people. So that would be a misplaced priority <laughs> if that if you are if you are uh, because ours is to provide people with water. We, we should not be clashing on that. Why should we be fighting over that? Uganda have been investing because it's a dear place. And but they, 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 the investigators believe have a lot of property in Uganda. In fact, that's what we, some of the questions we're asking today. And uh, the best of my knowledge, I don't have any property in Uganda. <laughs>